Hi, Assalamu alaikum. This is Rehan Anjim. Welcome to our show, The Power of English Language. Hope you all are doing well, inshallah. The idea came in my mind suddenly that what could be the moments which are life changing. Generally, what happens? That a person is traumatized or overexcited, meet or gain the life changing moments. This is how they get involved in it and they face these moments. I mean, when I was a teenager, and I met a chance to leave my city and move in another city for higher education. And after graduation, I got a chance to go in abroad in another country for higher education, for studies. These were the life-changing moments for me. Then I was traumatized by coming back here, as of course I spent such a long time in England, city, London. But that trauma was again for short while, for short time. Because I was doing a job and I was living inside a box room in a house with another family. That was so cool and comfortable, for sure. It was so relaxing, an easy place after coming back from work. And family took care of me, so I had my own different lifestyle. And especially, you know, when I got a job, after two days spending in that city, it was an overexcited moment for me in my life. I was excited also because I got my first pay after a month. Same as you find different moments which you could expect or could not change your life. And as with me, many happened when I was younger. They made me feel like I was leaving my young age and I was moving into adulthood. And many happened in my mature age. You be more realistic about life. I mean, when you're graduating from high school, driving alone for the first time, falling in love, getting married, having children, divorced, and too many others. These bring different perspectives around your life. Shortly change your point of view about things and people. You see things with different angles, with different point of view. So this is how turning your life into good or regretting style. Well, got to say much more, but forget to say every next morning. This is how, don't do that intentionally, but I'm helpless regarding this. This is how I spend my passing days, except few obvious stories or picture glimpses, but I left over or remember the next day. This is how my fresh memory stays with me right now. This is something wrong with my subconscious. More a bit, I don't know, but I know something is something wrong. Well, I'm not a fan of being over clever until in a positive way. Make sure you don't hurt anyone and you consume your energy in a true potential. You help people. Because meeting the next day is a dream come true for so many people. Want to make it or expect it to be the best day every day for them. Hope you are enjoying your days and meeting the next successful morning with each sunrise. Thanks for watching my show, The Power of English Language. Please like and subscribe my channel, The Power of English Language. See you next time. Till then, take care of yourself. Assalamu alaikum.